Hi guys, if you have a Creality Ender 3, you need to see this video. You might be getting defects on your prints that can be caused by your mechanical parts. You want to know all the details? Then stay tuned. Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Rui and this is the Rui Raptor YouTube channel. If you want to help us out, you can by giving this video a like and subscribe to the channel. You can also help by joining our Patreon page or by clicking on any of the affiliate links posted below in the video description. So, in this video, we will talk a little bit about the new Creality Ender 3 V3 and one of its most common problems. The guys that follow the evolution of Creality printers and since the first Ender 3 models know that the heatbed carriages move on the y-axis on wheels and eccentric nuts. Bad oscillations can in these cases be eliminated by adjusting the eccentric nuts. On these printers we normally have eccentric nuts to adjust the bad carriage. For many users this procedure was a headache and for that reason we created this video that shows in detail how eccentric nuts work and how to adjust them. What we now see on the new Ender 3 V3 SE and KE is that the bed carriages have a different system. This system uses linear rods and bearings instead of the traditional wheels. It was expected that this new system would eliminate the problems that the wheels and eccentric nuts have, but it's not quite like that. As you can see, the bed still has some amount of play and there is no easy way to adjust it. As you know, all this unwanted play will definitely result in defects on the prints. During printing and because the bed moves quite fast, we can't see it. But if we capture the movement and play it back in slow motion, we can clearly see the bed wobble in certain movements. In most cases, Users will wonder why they are getting certain defects on their prints and this is why. But can something be done to solve this issue? Well, to understand the extent of the problem, we first need to remove the heat bed. To take the bed out, we must remove the four screws located at the top of the bed. The first step is to check the rods. They cannot have any play at all. If you notice any play, you can try inserting a paper shim between the rod and the plastic piece. The second step is to check the bearings. The play is likely due to a difference in measurements between the rods and the bearings. The rods should be 8 mm in diameter, but in some cases they don't have the exact size. If the play is big, the ideal would be to order new rods and bearings, and with the right diameter and replace them. If the play is not that big, you can loosen the four screws that secure each bearing and adjust them better to eliminate the play. So. Do you have one of these printers and does your printer suffer from this issue? Let us know on the comment section below. And that's it you guys, thanks for watching. We will see you guys next time. Bye!